All right, now, while we've been building a Adobe Pueblo type structure here, as beautiful as they may be, not everyone wants an Adobe look alike, and also it's not necessarily appropriate for every climate. So let's talk about uh, both second stories and pitched roofs. Whenever you're putting a second floor on, you're gonna have your bond beam sit directly on top of the wall. For going up, you're going to need to have a bond beam that is cement and steel poured on top to a thickness of about five and a half inches. That way you can disperse the weight of the flooring above. Now, typically that's going to consist of uh, pre-manufactured floor truss that will sit all the way across or halfway uh, onto each edge of your cement bond beam and a little structure like this two by sixes would be fine and then you're just going to continue going up pouring your walls just exactly as you did below going to be necessary then to have an additional bond beam on top of that this additional bond beam it only has to be three and a half or four inches thick on top of this wall, but there's certainly nothing wrong with overbuilding it. Well, it's a nice crisp 27 degrees out here today. In Trilingual, however, it's currently 47 degrees. Very wonderful. And that brings me to the point that we have two seats left at the Trilingual School of Alternative Building. So if you're interested in attending, I would encourage you to click the link below in the description and find out how you can attend the workshop and reserve your spot before they're gone comes the roof truss. Now these are just simple uh, A-framed trusses. They could uh, be made uh, yourself uh, using the charts uh, that show you how to cover the distance or the span uh, that they need to cover. And then on top of these trusses you'll lay down your plywood roof decking. Uh, if you're doing sheet metal you might uh, just... Or aircrete. These skills can be learned in a day or two. The real skill begins when you are ready to make your tiny house functional. Electric, solar, air conditioning, plumbing, flooring, or alternative waste water management. This is where many people fail to finish their homes or pay large sums of money to hire skilled labor. Others fail in the planning or logistic stages. They buy the wrong land, underestimate cost, do not know how to hire and manage unskilled labor, or fail to connect infrastructure. This is why we now offer the Terlingua Alternative Building School. Beginner or experienced builder, come learn how to build a tiny house from scratch. In far less time and expense than traditional paths of learning, you can learn and experience every skill you need. Now you can proceed with confidence to build the house and life of your dreams.